Warriors, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with the hat, who reads. And it's time once again to look at the month to come. This is my February TBR. Fantasy February is upon us again. And I'm not going to read just fantasy this month because I have some other things I want to read. Some carryovers. Most of it's fantasy. There's a couple other things we're going to talk about with that. But let's start off with some carryovers. Now, this first one, I might actually still get done in January. We'll see how it goes, but I still have the last two of Matthew Riley's Jack West Jr. series. You know, the two I've never read before. The reread has been going great, but I think I took a little bit too much on for this month. This book, book six, might still get done in January, although I haven't started it yet, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say it won't. Um, so both of these will be very early on in the month of February. Because I did the reread so I could read those two. And it's been great with the reread, so I'm excited to dive into those. And I said I was going to start this one in January to use for February. I know I haven't started that one yet either. I'll probably be starting this one later today or tomorrow, though. Well, today as you're watching. I'm filming this a day before you're going to be seeing. Anyway, I'll have it started by the end of the month. <laughs> before the month ends, I'll be started on it, but I don't think know how far I'll be. But this will be, it's a very thick boy, and it's a nice fantasy. It's just Tad Williams Otherland. I didn't say that, actually, but it'll be a good one to read in January, February. Ah, I can't talk today. Good one to read in fantasy February. So, I'm excited for this one. It's been sitting there a while. It might actually be more sci-fi than fantasy. I don't really know. Yeah. We're going to go with it. It's, it's already been... We're already committed to it. It's going to happen. So, now to get into the actual February books. I have ten more books here. And most of these, I think, will not be a problem to get to. But let's start with one... There's a reading event going on called Filmtastic February, being hosted by, by, I can't remember the name of the channel, I'll put it in here somewhere, <laughs> and I'll have it down below, of course, too, but for Filmtastic February, you either read a book that's like a novelization of a movie, or it has something to do with the movie industry, or whatever, well, I have tons of stuff like that. But I picked up this one. They shouldn't have killed his dog. The complete uncensored blank kicking oral history of John Wick, Gun Fu, and the new age of action. Yeah, I love the John Wick movies. Keanu Reeves is great in them. And I know there's a book, one booktuber in particular who loves Keanu Reeves. I won't, well, MJ. It's MJ. I can't wait to dive into this. The author is authors are Edward Gross and Mark A. Altman. They did a oral history of Star Wars, which I absolutely loved. They've also done ones for James Bond, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, and two different Star Trek ones. But yeah, I love these. I just love these oral history things. And this one's not terribly long, so it shouldn't be too much of a commitment. But I am excited to participate in Filmtastic February, being the big movie guy that I am. This will be probably, after I get finished with um, the two Matthew Riley ones, I'll probably jump into this one. Now we're getting into fantasy stuff, because it's fantasy February. Because why not? Although this one, I guess you could debate calling it fantasy, but... I did this last year, too, in Fantasy February. you got to have one that I call a rom-com novel, because it is Valentine's Month. And so this year we're doing Emily Henry's Book Lovers. I've read Emily Henry once before with um, Beach Read, I believe it was called. And it was all right. I mean, this isn't the typical thing I read. But every once in a while you want something like that, something light and fluffy. And I think it's a good one for this month. That'll be pretty early on in the month, actually, because it has to go back to the library, of course. But for reread plans, I'm rereading Lloyd Alexander's Pridane Chronicles. That would be 
The Book of Three, The Black Cauldron, The Castle of Lear, Lair. I never could pronounce that. <laughs> Taran Wanderer, and The High King. And yes, a couple of these are Newberry winners. It's been years since I read this series. And I still am bummed that this book is not the same size as the rest of them. Because it looks always looked funky on a shelf. But I am excited to return to these. These are obviously for young adults. So they will not be hard to read. I should fly through these pretty quickly. But it's been a long, long time since I read these. I'm excited to dive into them again. And Fantasy February is the ideal time to do it, I think. All right. This next one has been on this list before for Fantasy February. Actually, both of these have that I'm going to talk about now. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. But I've put it off and put it off and put it off. And we're finally going to hopefully get to it in February. And that's Joe Ab Abercrombie's the Blade itself. This is the first book in the First Law trilogy. I'm hesitant, I think, just because I know some people have absolutely loved this series and this author, and some people are just meh on it, and some people don't like it at all, and I'm wondering where I'm going to fall in that. But I am excited to read this. I've heard really good things, and I've heard some not-so-good things, but we'll see what happens. It's probably the longest book. Oh, no, I take that back. It's the second longest book for my month. This is 500 pages. But we'll see what happens. I got some long movies at the theater coming up. I don't have a lot of extra reading time. January's been really good to me, though, so far. We'll, we'll get into that when we do the wrap-up here later this week. But the biggest book of the month will be George R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones. 800 and some pages and you see we have a lot of actually some sizable books this other one's pretty good size too i am probably committing too many books to the month i'm guaranteeing that already but i've been wanting to read this one for a while too and this one's going to be this one's going to be a chore i know that because it's a very sizable book and the print is not great sized but I think I'll get through it. If it's as great as everybody says it is, I will be invested in this very quickly, and I will love it. And then if I have time, <laughs> if I have time, I'm finally going to be picking up this series, because I have the first two books. I'm sorry, I got, I got distracted by the advertisement in the back of the book. Remember when they used to do that on all the books? You'd have an advertisement for another book all the time? But this is A. Lee Martinez's The Last Adventure of Constance Verity, which is kind of a lie since there's three books in this trilogy. There's a trilogy of books, and this is the first book, and yet it's called The Last Adventure. We're questioning logistics at this point. But, I mean, I've heard good things on this series as well. I know they were going to be making a movie of it, but I haven't heard anything else if that's still happening or not. It is one I've had sitting here for quite a while. I actually have the second book sitting here also. And I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I like A. Lee Martinez. I haven't read anything by him for quite a while. So I'm excited to dive into this one as well as I am with all of these. Like I said, I've got a sizable month of reading ahead of me. But the way January has been going for me, I think February, if we can keep that streak going, it'll be a really solid month of reading. And that's the TBR for February 2024. God, it doesn't seem like we should be in February already, does it? But it is what it is. So I'd love to hear from you. Have you read any of these? What did you think of any of these? Should I be prioritizing any of these this month? Um, what is on your TBR for February? What's in your big plans for the month i'd love to hear from you in the comments down below and as to whether you will be participating in filmtastic february to the person who's hosting it 
Wright, who I will leave down below. I should have looked that up before I started here. But anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.